So I have been a traditional scrapbooker for like over 10 years now. I've always done some form of like 12 by 12 or eight and a half by 11 um, scrapbooking. And then I just, a couple months ago, discovered traveler's notebooks and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the new me. Um, I don't really, my brain doesn't really work like um, scrapbooking or memory keeping when it's a square. So that's why I've always gravitated towards the eight and a half by 11. I like the rectangular shape. And so when I discovered the traveler's notebooks, um, I knew it just like clicked because a lot of the pictures that I take, I have five kids, so a lot of the pictures I take, they're not like super layout worthy. You know, it's just a funny moment that I want to capture and I want to journal out about, but it's not like a vacation or um, a big event that is, you know, generally scrapbook worthy. And so... Um, I decided to try scrapbooking in a traveler's notebook and I made my own. I looked up on YouTube how to make your own insert and there's a ton of like really good videos. So I haven't decorated the cover yet and these are like my other notebooks and stuff. I haven't decorated the cover yet um, and it's not done but I just wanted to share like how I've started, how I've gone from like traditional scrapbooking you know, to this form of memory keeping. So the first page that I did, I just kind of wanted to choose a photo that summed up the month. So this was this is like my July book. That's what I originally started. I thought, okay, I'm going to do a traveler's notebook for every month. So this, I pulled out, you know, pictures from July and everything and started to do that. And so if when you have a newborn, your life revolves around sleep. <laughs> like trying to get enough sleep, trying to survive. Um, and so I picked this picture of my husband and our youngest um, taking a nap together. And I really liked it. And so then I started in. And um, when I first started, I just would have like a picture, like one picture and then like some embellishments. And I, I was leaving space for journaling. But then after a while, it felt like really crowded. Um, and I just wasn't liking it. And so I went to my most favorite page. This was my most favorite page. And I was like, hey, what, I, what do... I love about this page and I loved that the photo was here and the journaling was here and there was room for embellishments but I then I loved how there was just like the patterned paper because that's one of the reasons why I, I love uh, scrapbooking is all of the pretty things and paper is just beautiful and I love this paper and so I decided that I'm just gonna do that on every on every page if I like a page with paper and some embellishments or if I like a page with some paper and embellishments and then the other side has like a photo and journaling, then that's me, like that works for me. So I went through and I actually um, ripped ripped off the photo and put the, covered it up with paper and did some journaling here. And this is about our kids broke our back door. And um, Richard and I decided, well, let's just like replace it ourselves and save a couple thousand dollars. And it was a big adventure and really fun, but I don't ever wanna do it again. Um, this, I was just a photo. So like, see, I don't want to do a scrapbook layout about this. It's just like my kids ripped open, you know, the bag of frozen peas and I decided to take a picture of it because like, this is my life. Like right here, that's my life. If you have young kids, that is your life. Um, and so I just said, my kids make messes all the time, but I want to remember that because one day I'm going to forget that my little kids can, you know, open up the freezer and pull out the peas and rip it open and spill them everywhere and so this page isn't done I want to put something here I haven't decided yet um, but yeah it feels unfinished to me okay this is done like I love I love this page so 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 much and it's such a special it's just that's why I love memory keeping is because this photo right here is special this memory to me is special and I want to remember that in 15 years so then here we um we got our new chickies. We got 48 chicks. Well, I should say 47. Um, no, it was 48 chicks. And then one super ugly turkey. Like, he is ugly, but whatever. Um, so I like that page a lot. I liked how it turned out. This one, I haven't done the journaling yet, and I need to write months. But, you know, he's five months old in July, and so there's that. And then this, my sister's moving. So I'm not sure how I feel about including like big pieces of chipboard in. I'm going to have to figure out a way to make that work. Like I love chipboard and scrapbooking. It works. But Traveler's Notebooks, I'm not sure 
how that's going to work. So this will just be my learning experience. Like each book that I do is just going to figure out how to take the things, the aspects that I like from traditional scrapbooking and still make them work in a traveler's notebook. Um, so that I haven't finished, like I still need to do, you know, 4th of July. So what I did is I kind of just, I would slide pictures in and sticky notes about the things that I wanted to include. Um, so overall, I love this. Like this is going to be my new memory keeping, my new way to, to scrapbook, my new way to, um, preserve these memories is in these little, you know, these little books. But um, I'm not going to limit myself to doing one month in one book because this stressed me out, like trying to plan it ahead and figure out, okay, how many pages do I need? And then I actually ran out of room because, um, you know, I changed the way that I was going to organize all the pictures and stuff. And so, see, I have these actually sticky notes and like not enough pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get just like blank traveler's notebooks and um, just like start journaling, just start doing my scrapbook. And if like two months fit in it, great. If like one week fits in it, great. Like as long as I'm dating things and then I can store them and keep them in order, I think that's all that will matter for me. So the Traveler's no Notebook that I'm using right now is um, by Webster's Pages and I really like it. It's a minty, it's a minty color and I've turned it into my like everything. Like this is my life now. I love it so much, so much. Um, I have like all of my, my cards and everything here. When I go out, I slide my phone in there. So it's like my wallet. So then here I have like a journal going on. And then this is like, you know, my to-do list that I've started. And then this is like product ideas and, and, and you know, I'm planning out kits and things like that. And then this, I had like, um, you know, my scrapbook in it and everything. And so I really like this. I think that this this system is going to work for me and you know, I'll do videos as I as I learn different things and as I fail and everything. Um and I hope you follow along and and if and if, you know, Traveler's Notebooks appeal to you, just try it. Like there I mean, you're not going to fail. Like as long as you're having fun, as long as you're creating something that you love, that that's that's all that matters. Um so yeah. I will talk to you later. Sorry, I knew that people were going to ask what um, embellishments I used. And so most of these are actually Freckle Fawn embellishments. So like these um, are in the September kit. They're uh, chipboard little phrase rectangles. Oh my gosh, I love them. In fact, let me get one really quick so you can see. So this is kind of a sneak because we haven't revealed the September kit yet. So... You'll get this sheet in September in the embellishment kit, and it just has like a ton of different things. Like, let's be friends, makes me laugh. Oh, I love this one. Where is it? By all the things. I was like trying to think of phrases that I would really, really want to use. And so those are throughout. Um, this wood chip is freckle fawn. Oh, these, this foil fern. It's a foil epoxy sticker. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. That's also from the September kit and then here's our you know adhesive lace tape and then just ch chipboard from my stash and this washi tape is my favorite I kind of did it all throughout to kind of you know tie everything in together that's from the July kit and these are these little emoticons are from the August kit this wood chips from the upcoming September kit so is this little um, enamel heart and um these, this is like our cork numbers from our January kit, but there's actually some listed in the shop. So like just anybody can buy them right now. Um, you know, just some chipboard for my stash and then just paper from my stash. Like I've just gone through and picked out my favorite pieces of paper. I was like, okay, I'm going to include this in. Okay. So sorry. Now I'm really going to go. Okay. See ya.